right, you guys, welcome to today's video. Today I want to tackle two questions that I get asked literally all the time. So that I just put all my information right here and we could just talk about it. Just right here, we could just talk about it in the comfort of my living room. How does that sound? Okay, question number one is, how do I lose belly fat? And in place of belly fat, you can insert inner thigh fat, back fat, saddle, saddle bags, bat wings, any of that kind of stuff. How do I lose belly fat? Second question is, how do I get more toned? That's what we're talking about today. Okay, so first question. Uh, I get asked all the time, how do I lose belly fat? So, first of all, you guys have probably heard in the fitness industry people say that you can't spot reduce. So what this means is you can't look at one part of your body and say, I want to lose fat only from my belly. I like how I look everywhere else, I only want to lose the fat from my belly. Or, same thing with your saddlebags, your hips and thighs, or your inner thighs. You can't look at one area and pinpoint it and say, I only want to lose fat there, okay? Um, when I, sometimes I'll get personal clients who will say, I'm so frustrated because I'm losing inches in my hips and thighs and my chest and my arms, but my belly measurements aren't dropping and that's where I want to lose it. So let me give you a little lesson here, okay? It's lesson time. Everybody put on your thinking caps. Right on right here, okay? Um, so how we lose fat is genetic, or actually I should say where we lose it from is genetic. Depending on your mom and dad and your genetics, some people are going to lose it from top to bottom, for example. They might lose it from their waist before their hips and thighs. Some people are going to lose it from the outside in, meaning they're going to lose it from their extremities, their arms and legs, before they lose it from their stomach, okay? That's my oven. So all you can do is make sure that you are losing fat, okay? So if your inches are changing anywhere, your tummy, your arms, anywhere, that's a sure sign that you are losing fat and assuming that you keep on going and you're patient and you're consistent, you're following a good program, you will lose the fat from your trouble spots, okay? So when I hear people that say, I can't lose my belly fat or inner thighs or saddlebags or whatever, when, they people, when people say, I can't lose it from there, it's only because they didn't go long enough. They weren't patient and they weren't consistent for a long enough period of time, okay? One thing I learned through competing is that you will lose the fat. <laughs> you will eventually if you just keep on going and get lean enough, okay? So you have to have a good solid program you're following that you can stick to for the long term and the fat will come off from those trouble areas. So no amount of crunches are gonna help you lose the belly fat. It's just gonna be a solid lifting routine, solid cardio routine with the right kind of cardio, and number one will be a good, solid meal plan, okay? Those are my best tips for that. If you need a program, if you don't have one you're following, check out my programs um, in the links below. Okay, I have one for at, quick at-home workouts, one for gym workouts. I've got pretty much any, whatever your goal is, it's covered in my programs, okay? So you can't spot reduce, you can't pick a spot on your body and magically get rid of the fat there. All you can do is focus on overall fat loss and ensure that you are losing fat and keep going, stay consistent and patient and you will lose the fat from your trouble spots eventually, okay? Next question is, how do I tone up? Or something similar along the lines of, would be, I want a dancer's body. How do I look like a dancer? Or I just want to get more toned. First of all, let, let's go back to what the word tone means, okay? Tone really isn't anything, okay? Like, if you look up toned in a dictionary, it's going to talk about printers. 
So being more toned, it's, I know what you guys mean, but technically that just means losing fat and building muscle. That's the process that will make you appear more toned, okay? So when I get someone who says, I'm at my goal weight, now I just want to tone up. So what they really mean is they want more muscle to show, right? Everybody nods your head if you know what I'm saying, yeah? So when someone's like, I'm at my goal weight, but I want to tone up, that means they still want to lose some fat and they want some muscle to show, okay? So what that really means is you have to look at your body. Do you have the muscle under there is the first question you have to ask. If you don't, you need to change your focus to more of a muscle building focus, okay? If you feel like you do, if you squeeze your muscles and you can really feel it under there, you can, you can feel those muscles under there, then you just need to keep losing fat. And you have to be okay with knowing that your weight might keep dropping. And maybe what you thought before was your ideal weight, maybe you want it a little bit lower, and that's okay. Some people might find that their ideal weight is a little bit higher than they thought. Um, everybody's different and no one really knows, which is why when someone asks me, what should I weigh, I can't answer that because everyone looks different at different weights and everyone has different comfort levels, okay? Um, that's actually a question I will answer in another, that's a whole nother conversation all in and of itself. So when someone says, I want to get more toned or how do I get more toned, um, what that means is you wanna lose some fat and build some muscle, okay? So another question is, can that happen at the same time? The answer is yes, sometimes. I know that's not the answer we wanna hear. So if you're new to lifting weights or if you're new to lifting weights properly, let's say you've been just kind of dinking around the gym for a year or two and not really just doing the arm curl machine all day long like that. Um, so maybe you haven't had a good solid routine. You're still considered a newbie, okay? Newbie gains are a real thing if you spell it with a Z, okay? Newbie gains. I'm jealous of those newbie gains because I've been lifting for like 20 years. I don't get newbie gains anymore, okay? Um, so if you're a newbie and you're new to lifting weights properly, you're new to eating properly, meaning getting enough protein, the right amount of carbs, all that kind of stuff, um, yes, you can build muscle and lose fat at the same time assuming you have a good program and a good meal plan, so your macros are in the right places, okay? If you've been lifting for a long time and you're not a newbie anymore, maybe after a year or two or something like that, then you're gonna have to go more in phases. You're gonna have to have a phase where you're eating slightly in a caloric surplus to build muscle, and then move into a, a fat loss phase where you're eating in a caloric deficit to lose the fat that's covering it, okay? So if you think you wanna appear more toned, you have to think, one number one, do I really have the muscle under there? Um, chances are you might, you really might, and you just can't see it because it's covered in a layer of fat, which is totally okay. You just gotta work to get that off, okay? So appearing more toned can come in two ways, either building muscle or losing the fat that's covering it, okay? Another misconception is that people can build muscle and stay really lean. Uh, yes, that can happen for some people, but for most of us, myself included, when I focus on building muscle, I do put on a little bit of fat with that muscle. Everyone is different in how much fat they put on when they're going through a muscle building phase, okay? Let's say you have two people. These are our two people right here. Let's say they both go through a muscle building phase and this guy, or girl, since we're girls, puts on, let's say they both put on five pounds, okay? Maybe this person, three pounds of that was muscle and two was fat, and this person, one pound was muscle and four was fat. You actually can't control, you can't control how much you put on in fat with the muscle. I mean, you can to an extent based on what you're eating, but assuming their diets were the same and their diets were good and quality food, um, that's actually genetic as well. It's called nutrient partitioning, how much, you, how much of the um, extra food you're putting towards um, muscle versus fat, okay? So I'm going off topic, I feel like. If you wanna appear more toned, that's gonna to come with fat loss and muscle building. If you're a newbie, you can do it together. If you're not a newbie, you may have to do it in phases. All right, those are my two top questions I wanted to answer for you today. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up right below and share it with your friends and subscribe and I will be back next time. See you guys.